Chapter 9 All Israel was listed in the genealogical record in the book of the kings of Israel. The people of Judah were exiled to Babylon because they were unfaithful to the Lord. The first to return to their property in their former towns were common people. With them came some of the priests, Levites, and temple assistants. People from the tribes of Judah, Benjamin, Ephraim, and Manasseh came and settled in Jerusalem. One family that returned was that of Uthai, son of Amahud, son of Omri, son of Imri, son of Benai, a descendant of Perez, son of Judah. Others returned from the Shilonite clan, including Asaiah, the oldest, and his sons. From the Zerahite clan, Jehoel returned with his relatives. In all, 690 families from the tribe of Judah returned. From the tribe of Benjamin came Salu, son of Meshulam, son of Hodaviah, son of Hasanua, Abniah, son of Jeroham, Elah, son of Uzai, son of Mikrai, Meshulam, son of Shephatiah, son of Reuel, son of Ibnijah. These men were all leaders of clans, and they were listed in their tribal genealogy. In all, 956 families from the tribe of Benjamin returned. Among the priests who returned were Jediah, Jehoiarib, Jachin, Azariah, son of Hilkiah, son of Meshulam, son of Zadok, son of Meraoth, son of Ahitu. Azariah was the chief officer of the house of God. Other returning priests were Adaiah, son of Jeroham, son of Pashur, son of Melchijah, and Maasai, son of Adiel, son of Jazirah, son of Meshulam, son of Meshilamith, son of Aimeel. In all, 1,760 priests returned. They were heads of clans and very able men. They were responsible for ministering at the house of God. The Levites who returned were Shimeiah, son of Hashub, son of Azrikam, son of Hashabiah, a descendant of Merari, Bakbakar, Hiresh, Galal, Mataniah, son of Micah, son of Zikrai, son of Asaph, Abadiah, son of Shemaiah, son of Gelal, son of Jeruthun, and Berechiah, son of Asa, son of Elkanah, who lived in the area of Netophah. The gatekeepers who returned were Shalom, Akub, Talmon, Ahiman, and their relatives. Shalom was the chief gatekeeper. Prior to this time, they were responsible for the king's gate on the east side. These men served as gatekeepers for the camps of the Levites. Shalom was the son of Korah, a descendant of Abiasaph from the clan of Korah. He and his relatives and Korahites were responsible for guarding the entrance to the sanctuary, just as their ancestors had guarded the tabernacle in the camp of the Lord. Phinehas, son of Eleazar, had been in charge of the gatekeepers in earlier times, and the Lord had been with him. And later, Zechariah, son of Meshelamiah, had been responsible for guarding the entrance to the tabernacle. In all, there were 212 gatekeepers in those days, and they were listed by genealogies in their villages. David and Samuel the seer had appointed their ancestors because they were reliable men. These gatekeepers and their descendants by their divisions were responsible for guarding the entrance to the house of the Lord, the house that was formerly a tent. The gatekeepers were stationed on all four sides, east, west, north, and south. From time to time their relatives in the villages came to share their duties for seven-day periods. The four chief gatekeepers, all Levites, were in an office of great trust, for they were responsible for the rooms and treasuries at the house of God. They would spend the night around the house of God since it was their duty to guard it. It was also their job to open the gates every morning. Some of the gatekeepers were assigned to care for the various utensils used in worship. They checked them in and out to avoid any loss. Others were responsible for the furnishings, the items in the sanctuary, and the supplies such as choice flour, wine, olive oil, incense, and spices. But it was the priests who prepared the spices and incense. Mattathiah, a Levite and the oldest son of Shalom, the Korahite, was entrusted with baking the bread used in the offerings. And some members of the clan of Kohath were in charge of preparing the bread to be set on the table each Sabbath day. The musicians, all prominent Levites, lived at the temple. They were exempt from other responsibilities there since they were on duty at all hours. All these men lived in Jerusalem. They were the heads of Levite families and were listed as prominent leaders in their tribal genealogy. Jael, the father of Gibeon, lived in Gibeon. His wife's name was Meaka, and his oldest son was named Abdun, 
Jael's other sons were Zur, Kish, Baal, Ner, Nadab, Edor, Ahio, Zechariah, and Mikloth. Mikloth was the father of Shimeon. All these families lived near each other in Jerusalem. Ner was the father of Kish. Kish was the father of Saul. Saul was the father of Jonathan, Malkeshua, Abinadab, and Eshbel. Jonathan was the father of Merabel. Merabel was the father of Micah. The sons of Micah were Python, Mile, Taria, and Ahaz. Ahaz was the father of Jada. Jada was the father of Alameth, Azmaveth, and Zimrai. Zimrai was the father of Moza. Moza was the father of Binia. Binia's son was Rephaiah. Rephaiah's son was Eliasa. Eliasa's son was Azel. Azel had six sons, and their names were Isrikam, Bukiru, Ishmael, Sheariah, Obadiah, and Hanan. These were the sons of Azel.